Hello, hello, hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode on the Late Log Eye server. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, because I am having a fantastic day recording some more Minecraft for all you people. Um, and it is a, another tour video from the server. Uh, there is a lot of stuff to see. A lot. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the the ones previous to this. Um but yeah, because <laughs> I've actually really, really enjoyed recording them, kind of going back and and seeing bases that I haven't visited in a while and stuff like that. Um, it's been really, really good fun. And I think for all you new people, it's quite nice to kind of see uh, like the history, what has gone before. Um, and, and, and just remember, Ripple is coming. Um, so we will be starting off on a brand new server really, really soon. Nice, fresh start. You get to see me punch trees and all that kind of good stuff. And I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, here we are over at Croc17's base. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll explain that in a second. Um, now, Croc17 is our erstwhile neighbor. If we come and look over here, you can start to see the beginnings of my base load in. It's been a bit weird. Um, but yeah, we're over there. Croc is here. Uh, Croc was here before me, um, and I kind of came in and kind of muscled my way in. <laughs> Ruined all of his plans. Um, but yeah, today we're, we're kind of going to be focusing a little bit on the awesome foursome. Uh, so that is myself, Paragraph 8, Danoobs, and Croc17. Um, I, I would call us the, the, the start of the new breed of Late Lao Guy. Um, before us four joined the server, um, it was kind of a little bit unused and unloved. Um, there was Winter that played on here, um, but that was that was roughly it at that point. Um, and then we came along and started recording videos on here, and since then, Late Lao Guy has grown into something beautiful and magical. We've got a load of lovely, lovely people recording on here now, um, and I'm, I'm, it's just marvellous. Just marvellous. Um, but yeah, um, we, we are obviously the awesome foursome. Um, we play extra games together sometimes. We're, we're, we're quite close. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd thought I'd dedicate an episode to uh, these bases. It might be a little bit shorter, so, you know, that's cool as well. It means that you don't have to spend too long listening to me ramble. Um, but I now need to get down from here, and my connection ain't so grand, so I might be about to all splat somewhere. Let's give this a go. Uh, oh, thank the Lord for that. Um, ooh, look at those invisible walls. Um, we're going to start off d d d d d if we can make it. Can we make it? Can we make it? D d d d d nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. And spin around. Lovely. That went a lot smoother than than I thought it would. <laughs> so let's start over here at Croc's Sawmill. We're going to ignore this. This is a prank by Paragraph 8. A little bit of an in-joke. Um, but yeah, this is um, Croc's Sawmill. There was originally a big wooden mansion here. And I loved the mansion. I really, really did. Um, but Croc decided that he didn't like it anymore. So he tore it down and built this sawmill. Um, now, down underneath here... Hello, doggies. Um, if we go through here... Then we've got Croc's basement down here, um, and I uh, I managed to actually break his, his wood fob. Yeah, and it it's still still broken. Um, I was using it very very briefly, and a creeper spawned somewhere up there, and uh, kind of kind of blew it all up. And um, yeah, yeah, I did a bad. Um, I, I did offer to you know fix it, but redstone not my thing. Not my thing. Uh, <laughs> so there is that, I believe. don't even know what that's for. I know what that's for, but we will get to that a bit later. Let's go back up above ground, um, and we can have a look at stuff outside. Um, now, out here was actually one of my first landscaping jobs from um, my gardening shop. And I, I love how it's turned out. We've got this nice little hillock. Running up here, lots of pathways going every which way. Um, there's also a path going underneath here, like a so, like a so. 
and I really like that as well. Um, putting these little farms for him because th this was um, originally designed to be like a little farming village and stuff. So you've got the the grain silo over there, a barn, and then another barn there. Um, and out the back here, um, you're not going to be able to see the full effect, but this field over here used to be completely covered in wheat. Croc spent God knows how many hours painstakingly planting all of the seeds and watching it grow. Um, and it looked absolutely fantastic. And, um, <laughs> and Anubs and Link um, came along and <laughs> very, very kindly um, helped him harvest it because they, they didn't want the crops to spoil. And so we've just got hay bales everywhere and it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Good, good fun. Um, what else has he got around here? We will get to this building in a second. Uh, let's uh, do that. In here is a, something that I really, really, really like. It's his, um, it's basically his slaughterhouse. Um, <laughs> so in here we have a chicken cooker producing a nice lot of chicken, um, cow farm there, sheep farm there, pig farm there. Um, I believe there were some other little bits and pieces to put into it, but I'm not sure whether they have been done. Uh, this might just be some storage here. Can't open that because of that block. Don't know what that block does, so I'm not going to press it. Uh, I'm not going to destroy it even. Um, but yeah, we've got his horse over here. Do you have a name? You do not have a name. Um... What have we got in here? Just stuff. Stuff everywhere. Um, but that's really, really cool. I have often um, often popped over and stolen some chicken from him uh, when my golden carrots were running low. Uh, what else have we got around here? Uh, There's more landscaping that I did. I believe that's the entrance to his mine. And that actually runs um, all the way kind of like past my base Um and through to the dual skelly spawner, which I suppose we should also go and check out in this episode, as that's that's another crop build. Um, but let's quickly run down into his barn, um, because this is where an awful lot of his base is centered around. Um, and it's it's quite a, an innocuous looking building, I guess. Um, but then you kind of come through here, and there used to be a villager breeder up here. Uh, no longer though, we had an awful lot of trouble with that, even I came over and attempted to help uh, <laughs> in in my own special way. Um, but this is, I'd say, the majority of Croc's base. Um, we've got a big old sugarcane farm here. Um, I do believe his minecart might have stopped. Hmm. I ain't going to try and fix that, <laughs> because I will no doubt break it. Lots of sugarcane in there, more in there, more in there, blimey. Um, over here, a nice little vine farm, lots and lots of vines there. Cocoa bean farm, if I press that button, all of these get harvested. Um, I'm not going to do it because then I'd have to replant them and I am lazy. Oh, so many cocoa beans. Um, this is, I believe, a, a slightly unfinished project. Um, but I believe he was going to do something with this ravine. Um, he's got his AFK fish farm here. I believe all the storage for it. Yeah, all the storage for it is blimey. It's a lot of storage, Croc. Don't know where it's up to. That is a lot of storage for a fish farm. Uh, I do know where that goes, I think. Um, but yeah, over in this wall here, this is where he now has his villager breeder quite a few of them just jumping up and down there um, and then he's got a sorter um, that goes through here um, and I believe comes all the way through to here and you can say hello to the librarian or the farmer or the other librarian and stuff like that and I believe you can kill them um, if, if you do not want their trades for example the cleric um, if you don't want the cleric, you can kill them, and they will they will disappear. Uh, but that is this floor. Oh, we've also got a flower farm up here, automatic flower farm. Um, mainly does seeds, poppies, and um, dandelions. 
Oh, oh, we've got some oxide daisies in there as well. Okay, I tell a lie. Um, but then let's pop down here. This is floor number two. Um, we've got the lower half of the sugarcane farm there. We've got Croc's massive, massive cactus farm in here. Um, just don't, I don't know why. Why? Why? <laughs> I do like a cactus farm, to be fair. Um, we will go that way in a bit. I th no, no, no. That is actually a tunnel that leads back to the main house. So if you remember when we were in the basement looking at the um, looking at the broken tree farm, um, there was a little little gap uh, in one of the walls, and that that leads down to here. Um, so you come out here, uh, down here. Ah, let's go down here now, I guess. Uh, this is the bottom of um, Croc's Melon and Pumpkin Tower. Now, when, it, when I say it, it's a tower, it is a tower. Uh, I believe it does. It goes to, like, well, obviously just above our heads there, which would be, okay, so we're at Y12 at the moment. So... That's probably, what, Y20, if that. Um, and then it goes up to, to build limit and, yeah, lots and lots of drops. We will see that on the outside a little bit later. Um, ooh, what's down here? This is a room. Good, good. Glad we saw that. Oh, we can actually, we can actually just pop up here and have a very, very quick little look at how tall this is. <laughs> because it is massive. Um, these are Asuma's original, kind of like melon and pumpkin towers. I'm sure you've all seen the design before, but yeah, they go way past that wooden band there. Uh, that's actually the surface, that floor there. And yeah, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Um, not, not, not a bad farm <laughs> for a farmer. Um, but let's run through here. Uh, that is the way we went down there. And we will go downstairs once more um, into the storage room. Now, I love this storage room. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, oh, we got a banner. I was unaware he had his own banners. Um, but yeah, this is Croc's storage room. It's um, all Impulse SVs item filters behind here, I believe. And we've got this floor here. Um, and then we go up here we've got the same floor again it's absolutely massive all i think well no i don't think all the blocks are sorted obviously non-stackable items um aren't sorted in here i don't think um but you do have some junk chests down about here um including two of my heads how have you got two of my heads boop boop what a handsome chap. <laughs> Let's see if he's got any... Oh, he does have some diamonds. A diamond block, one diamond block. I don't think I'll steal that. Um, but we also have some hidden crafting tables. There we go. A little bit of egg there. Um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, really, really like this room. Um, now, Croc plays with a texture pack where I believe the nether brick is black. Um, so it looks slightly different for me than it does for him, but that's why he's got the black glass running up the side here and stuff like that. Uh, where to next? Let's go back up the top here, um, and I will show you the outside of that melon and pumpkin tower. Oh, I believe it's night outside as well, so let's try and sleep without getting stuck in a bed. Da, 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 da. Will you manage it? Come on, server. Lovely. I've always believed in you. Always believed in you. Thank you. Uh, let's try and run through these doors. Let me through. Let me through. I'm free. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the that is the melon and pumpkin tower right there. That is what we started the episode off on top of. Um, yeah, you can see just how big that is. Um, melons and pumpkins for days. Uh, let's uh, run around these paths here, around this beautiful landscaping. Run over the top, la 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 la. Go down on the wrong side. Get a bit lost. Um, let's go this way. Uh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Bye bye, Mr. Creeper. Um, so round here, um, just coming up on the left is 
one of the most impressive buildings I've seen in quite a long time. <laughs> this is the cathedral that Croc built. This was an absolute labour of love by him. I think it took him a couple of months on and off to do. So much slab and stair work gone into this. Like, it's unbelievable. Just making sure that creeper's not following me. But it's absolutely gorgeous and so, so worth all of the effort. I mean, just look at it. It's it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. 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 Um, and round the other side, we have a pretty cool graveyard as well. Um, so let's just pop around the side here and take a quick little look at that. Ta-da! Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is this is Croc's area. He does have some other satellite bases. He's got a dwarven mine and stuff like that. But I know he's working on that currently, I think. Um, so I don't want to spoil any of that. If you do want to go and see it, it's well worth watching. Um, link will be in the description to our subreddit where you can go and find a link to his channel. Um, I thoroughly recommend going and checking him out. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the nether quickly and I'm going to shoot off in that direction and we're going to see the the dual spawner um, that Croc built and then I came along and, and did some stuff too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a quick cut and I'm going to catch you guys over there. Bye -zy bye. Okay everybody, so we are back and we are um, here at the dual spawner. We have got skeletons on this side and zombies on this side. This place has provided me with so so many bone blocks over the series. So, so many. So I'm incredibly pleased that Croc went ahead and built this. Um, so behind this wall on this side, we've got a zombie spawner. I think we can probably... Yep. There it is there. Um, and then on this side... Let me just hop up. Can I get through here, please? Thank you. Um, then we should have... Same again, but skeleton. Lovely stuff. And I've just dropped a block in there. Bye-bye, buddy. Um, I actually got my first iron sword from here. <laughs> Croc very kindly provided them um, to slay all of the mean, mean, horrible things in there. Um, and I, I made good use of it. Um, now, there wasn't... Was there, was there much? No, there wasn't a huge amount of storage down here. It wasn't automated or anything like that. And because I was over here quite a lot AFK, um, I wanted to kind of make it... Is that diamond armor? I am fairly certain that that is diamond armor there. It was. Huh. I'm breaking three mending. What's... Huh. Nice. Thank you, Minecraft. That is the first time that's ever happened to me. <laughs> that's absolutely nuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see if we can... Do a little demonstration of this. Let's uh, kill a few of those guys in there. We'll be able to see, if you come down here, all of the items spitting out of that dropper and going through into water streams. Um, the same would happen on that side as well. There is an auto-kill feature there. It's just a crusher that crushes all the mobs. Um, and then all the drops come out there. This is a room that I decorated and designed, and we're missing some... Um, Item frames. That's strange. Maybe I need to re-log. Um, but yeah, you've got bones on this side. Lots and lots of lovely bones. This is also bones, but obviously I keep stealing them. Uh, this side you've got all sorts of arrows and armor and stuff like that. And some random, random junk that's probably mine. Loads of stuff. Um, and on this side you've got the same... Put your... At the mine. <laughs> Loads and loads and loads of rotten flesh over here. Um, and then just a couple of little smelting stations where you can smelt up the the leftover armor and stuff like that. And if you if you do that, start to see this emptying out here, this bottom chest. Um, and that's just to just to get rid of all of the items that you don't want. Um, so yeah, that is that area done. I think next we're going to go over to Danube's his base. Um, one of his bases. Um, one of them I'm not going to show off. I don't think um, because it's it's not not as complete as he would want it. I don't think. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we've got time. We'll see if we've got time. But yeah, I'm going to make a quick cut and I'm going to catch up with you guys in a second. 
Okay, so here we are. I've just stepped through Danubes' portal. Uh, this is another one of my landscaping jobs that I did um, through the landscaping and gardening shop. And we come out of here and look at this. Look how good this is. Look how beautiful. Isn't this absolutely stunning? Let's kind of step back a bit. And just gaze in awe. Um, this is Danubes' guardian farm. As I say, it's not um, it's not the entirety of his base. He does have um, another one um, in a desert somewhere off in that direction, I think. Not entirely sure. Um, but this is what I would probably consider to be his main base. Um, it's 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 a slime farm. <laughs> excellent um it's a guardian farm um and i believe it's um is it el mango or nembom uh one of them came up with the general rules of making this type of farm and Danubes has kind of made his own um, and made it all look absolutely beautiful um these walls going around here look fantastic absolutely fantastic um and obviously these incredible towers in all the four cor corners maybe <laughs> now we've also got these rings coming up here um now he's got some some really good lore about this i cannot remember it for the life of me um but basically all of these lights spin um so i'm not gonna start it up because i don't know how um if you want to see that kind of thing you better better go and click on his channel and go and watch his videos because he shows this off in much, much better detail. Um, but yeah, they all spin round and round and round and round, and I believe they all then turn on when the farm is on, when you're AFK. Um, but yeah, as I say, he's he's the one to go and watch um, when it comes to these the videos for over here. Um, he's a really, really good content producer as well, so thoroughly recommend it. Um, I'm going to try and not not die... I guess. Uh, uh. Oh, that was... Oh. oh, no, I'm definitely dead. I must be dead. This is some... This is some freaky-deaky server lag. Is it? Is it? I don't know anymore. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like waiting for death. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the... The kill chamber... I guess, as it were, it's been buttoned off um, for to s prevent uh, slime spawns. Um, as we saw when we came in, these are slime chunks, and this is a slime chunk right in the middle. Um, so he's done that. That's really cool. All the bottom is half slabbed as well to prevent mob spawns. Um, there's still work to be done over here. I believe he's going to try and get all of this finished off um, before Ripple begins, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous there is a sorting system down below here lovely um so you can pop down here and finagle your way up and around and this is his storage room which is absolutely gorgeous i just i love the way he's using the the prismarine blocks and stuff together with the quartz nothing in those chests but mm, nothing in here as well i'm guessing the farm isn't active at the moment no, it doesn't look like it is. Uh, doesn't look like he's turned it on recently at all, actually. Um, but I think this this farm produces an insane amount of drops, so I don't think he's that uh, fussed by it at all. Um, I think he can turn it on AFK for an hour and get ridiculous, ridiculous amounts. Um, now, I need to try and find a way of getting out of here. <laughs> because... Because there's no ladders, um, I could probably go up to the top here. Let's have a little look. I'm just going to eat a carrot. Jump. Ah, there we go. Yep, so the farm doesn't look like it's on at the moment. doesn't look like any of the water's out. Um, but let's pop... Oh, that's trippy. Let's pop all the way up to the top here and hope there is no creeper or anything there to greet me. Nope, looks like I am fine. And I'm up on the side here. Now, if, if, if this if this doesn't work, uh, then I'm definitely splatting. Oh, okay. Right. 
this is probably a much more sensible way of doing things. Let's run all the way around to the front. I'm pretty sure I'm dead and the server just hasn't caught up yet because that was a long fall originally. Uh. Oh God, no, I'm definitely dead. No, I do, do you know what? I do not understand this because um, <laughs> that's insanely high up and there's no way Feather Falling 3 Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, I'm now rambling. So I am going to make a cut here. Um, and I am going to meet you over at Paragraph 8 Space. So I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Bye, bye. And we are back. And I didn't die. So I can only assume that I am immortal. I even tried to drown myself. And I, I started taking damage. So, yeah. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> anyway, we are here at Paragraph 8 Space, the last but my most certainly not least of the awesome foursome. Um, this is his uh, floaty ship. <laughs> his floaty, floaty ship. Uh, this is a, a dedication to a prank that Danubes pulled on him. Uh, Para's original little starter base was down there. Danubes came along and crashed a, a replica of an end ship into the roof um, after Para's unfortunate time in the end trying to collect elytra and shulker shells um it was a glorious glorious prank and as an as an homage um para has built a a, a floating floating ship with no no water beneath it no water at all but it's, it's you know it is what it is it's a floating ship <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is his main base now, built up in these incredible looking um, extreme savannah hills or whatever it is. Should we have a quick little look? Savannah Plateau, that's it. Um, just the most beautiful views from over here. Just absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. And this building, it just looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love the red clay i love all of the use of wood and everything like that i love the roof i especially love the roof on here i think it's beautiful um and if we go inside para has made made it feel incredibly homely like this is his bedroom and it it feels just so so nice just so nice is this i think i might have given him those as a present I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think I might have done. Um, but yeah, it just feels so nice in here. It feels like it feels like you live here, um, which is it's a really rare quality um, in in Minecraft builds. I think to make it feel lived in. Um, but he is, he has managed it with great great skill. Um, that is his downstairs up here. I believe he's got like a library slash enchanting room. Yeah, so we've got an enchanting station there. Um, not quite finished out yet, but there's a lot of things on this server that are not finished up. Me being the main culprit. <laughs> Let's pop downstairs now where he has got his storage room. Um, once again, another lovely, lovely design. Just looks, just looks usable and nice. Riches. That's a lot of gold. Where'd you get the gold from? Uh... Where's your diamonds, buddy? Give me your diamonds. Four nether stars? Ooh, para, you are. You are a wealthy man, sir. A lot of dragon eggs. <laughs> Very nice. Um, but yeah, once again, a lovely, lovely little room. Um, can continuing the theme really well from outside to inside, I think. Um, and then down here, we have an industrial furnace array, which is lovely. Um, I cannot remember who the original designer is or whether he he developed it himself. I've, whoops. <laughs> oh, wow. And that goes all the way around. So that collects all the drops from this sugarcane farm as well, which is awesome. Um, then a little cow farm down here. Very, very nice. And um, a nano farm here. I believe this is his own design. Um, he does have a tutorial for it on his channel. Well worth going to check out. It's a lovely, lovely, simple little upgrade to Impulse SV's uh, Nano Farm. Um, I think that that's kind of it for Para's base right now, but there is one more place that I want to show you, and that is his uh, wool farm and string farm. So I'm going to pop back into the nether, and I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of seconds. Bye, bye. 
Okay, so this is Paragraph 8's uh, wool farm. It is once again a thing of beauty. I love the acacia wood at the back here um, and all around the sides. Acacia is not something that I'm particularly good at building with, but he's he's pulled it off. It looks really, really nice. Um, these farms, I believe, were shown off by Isuma and Iskal on the on the fourth season of Hermitcraft, I believe. There is a uh, minecart um, going round underneath that you can collect all the wool drops from. Um, and I believe once all the sheep are bred up, yeah, you break the glass out like you have on this one, get your shears, come round, shear them all up, and all of the wool gets trapped and put into that chest there, etc. Uh, really, really nice design, really nice, and a big, a big project um, to be done, and all done um, on his own, which was really, really special. Now this, speaking of special, um, I'm probably going to have to adjust the brightness of this um, on on YouTube, but this is, I believe, a a penta spawner. Um, is this where I stand right here? I think it is. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then five, um, and all of the all of the lovely spiders drop to their death and die. Um, and then you've got the minecarts down at the bottom there, uh, picking up all of the string. There go some spiders there. I don't think this is currently active. Um, I think there is a button that I need to press or a lever or something, but I have no idea where that is. Um, but yeah, what a sight. What an absolute sight. I love it in here. Absolutely love it. Um, what another massive, massive project. Are you going to fall and die? Yeah, you are. Yeah, incredible absolutely incredible um but yeah that is um that is i think the end of the episode um whoop, jumping over some things that was that was the basis of the the awesome foursome um <laughs> well worth going to check out the other guys channels and everyone else that records on the lake as usual uh link to the subreddit will be in the description so go and find them go and say hello go and go and give them some love um but yeah as i say that is going to be it for this video if you have enjoyed it please feel free to leave a like if you don't want to miss this series or any of the other series on the channel then hit that subscribe button and remember to tell your mother about how awesome the foursome is. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-zy-bye.